Come on, we're going to the Champions League. Another massive result in our quest to find the Champions League. We need this. We absolutely need this. We are so close now. I can feel it. We are going to be in the Champions League next season. I feel like we will be. We just need to keep this form going. Another accomplished performance. Everyone had a good game throughout the team. Partey was exceptional. There's a picture going around of Douglas Luiz, the Villa midfielder, looking sick trying to chase Partey. He is literally throwing up on the pitch trying to chase Thomas Partey. It's incredible. What a photo. But White and Gabriel, outstanding. Leno in goal was brilliant. Saffron and Smith Rowe, the two Hellwen boys again, fantastic. Erdegaard pulling the strings. Cedric at right back was exceptional. I need to touch on this because I've been saying we should get a backup right back. But Cedric's actually doing well. I still think we need one. I still think Cedric should be sold. He's a bit. He's getting on, um, and he's not too, that reliable. But to, the other day, and in this in this good run of form, he has been exceptional. He's been really, really good and massively gone under the radar. And I want to say, Philip Coutinho is a player on form. When he's on form, he is dangerous. He's one of the best players in the world, and. Cedric did really well. He was in his pocket. It was great to see. Fantastic. And I hope he could continue because Tomiyasu... Tomiyasu who? No, I hope he could continue because Tomiyasu still looks a while away from full fitness. And Cedric has been doing an exceptional job. So hopefully he can continue that. He's in really good form. So I'm really happy for him because he really tries his best and it's great to see. Um, uh, we are so close to the top four, as I said. I know Spurs are currently beating West Ham 3-1. Uh, just finished watching the game. Uh, can we do it? Absolutely. Will we do it? I think so. But we have to keep going. We've still got tough games, the likes of United, West Ham, Spurs, Chelsea. I've even heard people tip us for third. I think that's a bit premature, but it just shows that the level we are at right now. We are on fire. We're doing really, really well, and I'm really happy because this is one of the best times to be an Arsenal fan. No one gave us a prayer at the start of the season when we lost those first three games of getting top four, and we've just proved all the doubters wrong. And it's excellent. And I hope if we can do it, it will taste like we've won the title. Because this is so huge for this club. After such a fall from grace, after such a decline, to come back in such fashion and storm to top four. If we can do it, that is, if, I'm not counting my chickens yet. If we can do it, we can get back under the lights and enjoy Champions League football again. And hopefully win the thing. Let's get not get ahead of ourselves. But let's get into the player ratings. Leno in goal was exceptional, made a crucial save from Felipe Coutinho with the free kick and was solid throughout. Did really well in Ramsdale's absence. His distribution is still a bit slow, but the main role of a goalkeeper is to keep the thing out of the net, all right? So, and that part of the game, Ram, uh, not Ramsdale, Leno excelled. I'm so used to saying Ramsdale in these videos. Cedric, oh, I didn't give him a rain. Eight for Leno. Cedric, again, was really, really good. I'll give him an A. One of his best performances for Arsenal. Pocketed Coutinho and got up the pitch when we needed him to and created created opportunities. Um, on the left, we had Tierney, who, again, was really good. I'll give him a seven. Didn't quite get as forward as much, but did a really good job and defended exceptionally. So, yeah, seven. White and Gabriel, I thought Ben White was amazing. So was Gabriel, but Ben White, I just want to touch on him, was he has to start at the, in, at the World Cup. He is amazing. He's got such a good pass on him, and he's one of the best defenders we've had in a long time. 
which doesn't say much, to be fair, but he is incredible. He's better than Stones. He's better than Maguire. He's better than Cody. He's better than Mings. He has to start. Well, maybe not better than Stones, but he's at least on par with the man. Come on. Um, then Gabriel as well did really well. Should he be starting for Brazil? Maybe. I don't know. I hope he does because it would be huge for Arsenal to have so many players at the um, at big tournament. Speaking of which, we had Ramsdale, White, Saka and smith Rowe all pulled up. Do you remember when it used to be Welbeck, Wilshire and Walcott? Levels. But both of them were exceptional eight. Ben White could even be a candidate for man of the match. But I'm going to give it to this next man. Thomas Partey. Instrumental once again in the win. He drives so well from midfield, creates chances. He's got a great first touch. And him and Xhaka together were dictating the play. Fantastic. Xhaka's passing was much better than it was against Liverpool. I know different levels of opposition, but still. Got to praise Xhaka. He was really, really good. Xhaka gets uh, an 8, part 8, 9. Maybe Xhaka, yeah, Xhaka an 8, that's fine. Erdegaard, not his best game, but still some lovely touches, some great passing. Give him a 7.5, but of course he probably won't get that because he didn't score or create much. He didn't score and he didn't create masses, but he was still good. And you see the hidden influence he has on the pitch when he does play. Um, Smith throw on the left, came back into the sun. I was so excited to see him. Fortunately, at the expense of Gabriel Martinelli. But I thought Smith Rowe, again, was really, really good. Give him a seven. Created so many, maybe an eight, actually. Created so many chances. Should have scored. But I'm not going to be too critical. I think he, yeah, he tormented Matty Cash, who is actually a really good right back. Saka, another world-class performance from him. I'll give him a nine. Not quite man the match because... To be fair, he did get kicked out of the game. Uh, but yeah, he was still really good and scored the all-important goal. And you can see when Pepe comes on, it's just not the same. Talking of Pepe, I'll give him a six. And Katia the same. They lost the ball quite a lot, but I don't think I can give them less than a six. They weren't awful and it didn't cost, cost us the game. Um, and then up front, Lacazette, not the best game, but still worked hard, worked his socks off but was very, very average going forward. I didn't think he did much, and he should have slipped Erdegaard in when we had the chance. So I'll give him I'll give him a six. I don't think he was very good at all. He was just average, though. Maybe a five, even. Letting us down. And you can see, as I go through the team, you could see the player ratings where we need to improve. It's that striker, it's that striker role, isn't it? Um, holding came on as well to sort out the defence. Low block holding is apparently his new nickname. And yeah, he, he did well. I'm just really happy and we can go for this top four. It is for it's in our hands now and I've never been happy well I'm gonna say something that might trigger you. I've never been happier as an Arsenal fan. We are doing so well. I will see you in the next episode, which will be after the international break. I'm probably not gonna film the England games because I don't really care. I'm not a big England fan. But yeah, I will see you then and goodbye.